If you live, work, or play downtown, you may have noticed recently that Las Vegas Boulevard between Sahara and Stewart is nothing but orange cones, construction equipment, construction workers who, by the way, don't let a little heat stop them from getting the job done. If you haven't noticed it yet, well, you've got plenty of time to go over there and check it out for yourself because that's going to be the scene for the next three to four years. But when it's all done, it'll be worth it, really. You really need to get a bird's eye view of Las Vegas Boulevard from Sahara to Stewart to fully appreciate the magnitude of this project, all $200 million worth of it, or close to it. But according to Mike Jansen, Director of Public Works for the City of Las Vegas, it had to be done to get this important stretch of roadway up to date. Arguably, Las Vegas Boulevard is our most important road in the city. It's where 20 million plus tourists every year come downtown, and many of them start right where we're standing right in front of the Stratosphere Hotel. Jansen says this project has been in the works for several years, and there are three main reasons it needed to be done, starting with updating old infrastructure. Water District came to us and said, Mike, this is one of the oldest water lines in the city. Can you replace it for us? They're paying us close to $10 million to replace this water line from the 1950s. Other things like the sanitary sewer line from the 1940s, the traffic signals, many of them are from the 1960s. So a lot of infrastructure that's well beyond its useful life. We're replacing them all with this project. The second necessity was making the area safer for pedestrians and motorists with newer, better lighting and sidewalks widened in some areas to 15 feet. Also incorporating some wonderful beautification improvements, pedestrian safety improvements, upgraded lighting, and of course, improvements to make traffic flow better. One major safety step will include a uniquely designed pedestrian bridge at Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard. It's an intersection where sadly, We've had a number of crashes, many of them involving pedestrians. So a long planned project known as the Sahara Las Vegas Boulevard Pedestrian Bridge is another part of our construction operation. That one's gonna start in about two and a half years and it's gonna put in a pedestrian bridge in that intersection to raise the potential for traffic to be able to get through that intersection without coming into any contact with the thousands of pedestrians that use that intersection daily. It's gonna be a circular bridge as opposed to the bridges that are up and down the strip and Las Vegas Boulevard now are more traditional, the one we're planning for that intersection is going to be very unique. And the third reason for this project, well, it's attracting people to the amazing downtown part of our city by going big. We're putting up a new gateway feature right in front of the stratosphere here known as the Downtown Gateway Arch. It's going to be 75 feet tall, it's going to have hundreds of LED lights, have some great architecture tied to it, and it's just going to be that welcoming gateway for all those tourists that are coming into downtown. Here's how the nearly $200 million is broken down, and no, it is not all from the city's coffers. This project right here is about 110 million. Much of that is coming from supplemental funds from the water district related to our sewer fund, some from the RTC. A whole host of different funding is doing this first phase, 110 million. We have the arch, which is a $6 million improvement. We have Las Vegas Boulevard North, which is about $50 million. And then the balance, about 40, 42 million is the pedestrian bridge at Las Vegas Boulevard Sahara. So all told, a total investment near $200 million over the next three to four years. So the next time your plans take you north of the Strip and you run into what looks like a bumper crop of orange cones, dust and hardworking men and women in yellow. Remember, when it's completed, jobs were created. This part of Las Vegas will be safer and prettier. And we'll have water lines, sewer lines and traffic lights built in this century. Mike Jansen says there were a lot of meetings with local residents and businesses to try to minimize inconvenience. Now, while this segment between Sahara and Stewart gets done, they're going to move north to Stewart all the way up to Washington.